Right, I want to say hello again everybody, it's only me, Wushu Richard, with a quick video for you. I'm sorry I'm looking a bit rough, I've got a rough camera angle, I'm looking rough, I've, I've, not, I've been so busy all day since I woke up, I've had no time to do anything else but just basically prepare um, stuff that has to be prepared, teaching certain students that I have to deal with and different things. Now, um, so bear with me, okay, because I'm still actually working as such here while I'm talking to you. But in this video, you can just listen to my opinions on what I'm going to say, if you will. And I'm going to speak about a few topics here, okay, about the state of goddamn, excuse my language, but um, weakness of the mind. And I want to put forth some examples <clears throat> of lifestyles and habits that I see or that you know exist in society societies and individuals and every single person is entitled to their own opinions and their own lifestyle and um, I know that and my morals and what I think is what I think is right and what I think is wrong is not important because everybody has their own reality. And my ultimate goal, my ultimate point is basically reality is reality. And you know, if you if you wake up and realise that your reality is what you're in, you know, and um you, you it's up to the individual to find the truth in themselves and what it's all, what they're actually doing with their lives, right or wrong for them. I'm not talking about something that might make you feel happy or let you forget about your stress for a few moments. I'm talking about what re what really is constructive and what really is destructive towards your life in full or in part. Um, and, you know, what's really positive and what's negative. What's positive and what's negative, okay? We can't see everything and we're certainly not always going to see uh, a situation's truth you know, to it, um, that in full, uh, that fast sometimes. It does take, uh, you know, certain things are realised in time uh, or gradually um, through different situations and the steps we take. And it's only by what we see as individuals. Uh, if we see something as a mistake or if we see um, another way for ourselves to, to, to go, you know, you know, it's all down to the self, so there's no way I can talk in this video, I might speak strongly, I'm strong worded, I might use things like, like different, I, I speak freely as you know, so I may swear, I may say things like that, that's fucked up in my opinion, that's a fucked up wasteful motherfucking waste of life for someone to do that, it's so negative, it's so weak, it's pathetic, you know, you're just punking your goddamn ass off like a goddamn prostitute selling yourself. I might use all kinds of terminology. Terminology. It's not speaking to you specifically. I'm not speaking to someone saying that. I'm not trying to say that I govern over. I'm just expressing myself with words like how I feel. Like, to me, when I look at something like negativity taking over someone's life, you know, someone choosing to um, rather be destructive and, you know, disrespectful to themselves you know, is, is weak, and it just makes me sick, you know, so I'm just saying how I feel about things, you know, and always admitting that sometimes sometimes my views can be wrong, wrong, or I could be overlooking certain things too. Um, a common example would be when someone says to someone, you know, someone may be complaining about something, or speaking their views and point, uh, opinions on something, uh, not with any intent in 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 mind, even necessarily, or you know, to because I don't have any intent or goals as such to try and steer people. You know, you have your own, you're in control of your own car, so to speak. Uh, hopefully, you're not drunk while driving it. But I'm just saying, you know, uh, it's like my goal is though to help spread positive messages. At least if there is such a goal as in any part, to any level. I'm in these videos to share positive messages and viewpoints so that our, we can all clear up our minds and try to find a more positive way to be as individuals and um, towards one another. 
So me speaking for five minutes or rambling for an hour, an hour or more with a load of swear words or nice sugar coated talk, whatever I speak, however I speak, it doesn't matter whatever language the, the, the fact is the, the matter is it's up to you in your life and you know for a light very light wrongly worded term you know it's for, it depends on how you feel <laughs> the, the truth of the matter is not necessarily how you even feel it depends on the reality of the situation because you may be very happy taking drugs every day of, of your life and um, who am I or who is anybody to tell you that that's wrong? Uh, and if you know you're not harming anyone, you're just in your own home. And even if you are, you know, suicidal with it, which I hope you're not, you know, it's still not down to me or up to me to, um, or anyone to with, be discretion, what's the word, uh, to be, um, you know, um, trying to advise you or force their opinions on someone as though that's some kind of lesson to follow but anyway let's get on with this all right so what do i see in the world okay bear with me okay i'm looking over here i'm just looking at my computer screen i'm busy doing other stuff okay while i'm talking this is important stuff i have to get done so bear with me okay i shouldn't even be making this video right now i should shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah and i, I want to you know i should i should be making this video another time but i'm just so busy so bear with me okay but well, I want to talk about a few things, right? Listen, taking drugs, what's that? To me, that's, that's a ridiculous thing. Any kind of toxic shit, okay? What are the toxic poisons of life? Now, myself, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself religious or spiritually you know, or religious. You know, I'm not religious. I don't follow a religion per se like everybody else will. Um, I can't really say I even have any beliefs as such towards um, certain things like a god or a whatever you want to talk about, you know, heaven, hell, um, afterlife, reincarnation, any religious type of thing, spiritual things, um, even aliens or whatever. I just don't know enough. But um, that's a simple way of me wording it. There are... There is always, there's always that kind of like, you know, there's always more than we know. So I don't dismiss anything either. Uh, I don't want to say it like I'm neither here nor there. That's how, and that could be misquoted by people. But I mean, um, you know, uh, I have my own, there's a certain feeling I get about certain things, but um, I, I can't express it more. There's a kind of thing I get... But I can't really explain it right right now in this video. Uh, I've not even thought about it enough to actually be able to describe what it is, even as a feeling or um, a sense or something. There's something there. There's something more. And uh, even what I don't know, there is something that could be more, you know, to what I know, obviously. But um, as for actually believing in a God or anything, as in as in that's actually written, you know, as in a, a, a religi religious a god or anything like that, I mean, uh, you know, religion recognised by human beings, I don't really have one, as in terms of a, I don't follow the group, I won't follow a specific group of people, that's what I want to say, that's what I want to say, as in, a, when I say religion, I mean a, a view and a belief system of people, whether that's wrong or right, I just don't subscribe to people's ideas, what I'm trying to say that easily um and the same of anything really to do with the universe or anything you know whatever's out there there's this stuff out there i just don't know beyond me and <clears throat> even the little bits i can never be sure of about anything yeah so yeah but when people hear me speak some people know that i'm deep when i do speak i do get very philosophical i've got a philosophy i've got an interest in all kinds of <coughs> beliefs when i hear people <coughs> speak anything that gets you thinking you know <coughs> or deeper I am a bit of a philosopher, yes, and I do admire a lot of science too. And um, basically, I'm a, I'm a reality. I look into reality. Is this such a word? No, I study. I'm interested in reality, right? So, uh, and drinking nice tea. But <laughs> what I will say is this, okay? 
So when it comes to reality, okay, again, we've got two kinds of reality. As I say, there's reality as in the reality of life and how we're living it as a human being. Um, all of our logic, uh, ideologies, philosophy, um, beliefs and all of that, and then morality and what's right or wrong, and then specific morality and things and messages that are supposed to have been delivered by God and things like that to us to actually live and walk the, per the path and live the life of a human being, even if there is a God to be worshipped, and um, all of that, whether there is or isn't, but a human life. Okay, and all the meaning and everything, the mind, the heart, the emotion, the meaning and, you know what I mean, the values of being a human being. Society, um, as far as the human race is concerned. And then you've got the other reality, which is the ultimate true reality of everything. As in scientifically, which we can't even imagine, beyond quantum physics and all that, what we are actually made of, everything. The everything and the nothing, all of the energy or whatever you want to call that, that makes up everything in every realm and every dimension that we can't even imagine. You know, it's hard enough trying to fathom four dimensions, you know, but you're saying infinite dimensions of, and whatever else you could break things, things that we can't even imagine, just beyond time and space and any any senses, that, any things we can pick up through our five senses or understanding as a human being. This is, it makes like, you know, we're a human being and we understand the world when you have a goldfish in a goldfish bowl who only understands that, what it understands. But this is beyond that, it's like massive, gigantic, you know, levels of difference we're talking about here, like not just that. And um, there's so much that we just don't know, but... That's what I'm saying, the everything, the energy, of the essence of it, all of this, everything, that may be just infinite, everything and nothing, you know, forever and never, all of it, just, we even speak in space and time and mathematics and measurements, so that again, space, time, mathematical measurements, basically, all of that, even when we're speaking, we're trying to work things out, and that's a kind of mathematical, so yeah, they say everything's based on maths. But no, not when our math, it's based on maths, maybe you could say to some degree, but it's like, but it's like not uh, when our mathematical measurements and equations all uh, don't add up in certain situations. When you're getting ripped apart in a black hole, or you're traveling through a certain wormhole or whatever, you know, things change and get ripped up in time and space until the dimensions and the laws of physics and the laws of nature as we know it just all get twisted up and everything. But then we've got ultimate true nature, which is what I'm actually talking about, the everything, which um, not only holds everything, but is everything. You know what I mean? It's like the bag, the bag or the, or the fish tank that holds everything, infinite space, infinite space within it, and yet it is this thing, and it itself is infinite. That's what we're basically talking about here. And all of that, infinite or non-infinite, whatever, if, sorry for my terminology, lack of knowledge, um, <laughs> as a human being, made up, uh, uh, yeah, uh, um, uh, you know, whether it's infinite or not, I'm still speaking in terms of measurements of time and space and mass and all of that, aren't I? And what, what, what I regard as something, uh, we only know time because we measure movement and things changing, and other, the fact that we die as human beings and things like that, and the seasons and the solar system moving around the sun, it's just ridiculous. We're just taking certain points and we're basing everything on that. Well, I'm saying everything, that's the ultimate reality. So you've got the simple, simple, tiny little human reality, which we can't even figure out. And then you've got the actual deep, the reality of everything. That does not really matter a rat's ass if your human fucking exists or not. Excuse my language. I mean, it's like there's no human being. It's a guy hit point if you was there or not. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like it's all the energy that make up, makes up everything. And the energy that doesn't, if you can imagine that. It's the, 
it's the what's present and what's not present. And so that is reality, reality. So let's get back to what I'm saying. Let's get back to our human discussion again about our problems on in society as human beings. This is not supposed to be a scientific philosophical journey of the, you know, of, like I've, I've done with other ones. This is a different, this is a simple video here talking about the problems in life as a human being. Toxins, okay, toxic chemicals. What is toxic? Toxic and poisonous to the human mind and body, okay? Uh, basically on the mental and physical level. Everything that is negative and destructive has a destructive negative uh, effect on the human being. As in, from our own actions, things that we could reject, things that we could avoid. Well, they just it just makes me so fucking confused, puzzled, and you know, irritated to kind of thing. I don't think about it all day, so I don't it doesn't it doesn't it just annoys me to think. It just annoys me to think that people do these things. There's no logic there, at all. You take drugs any kind of drugs, and you say it makes you feel good. I've never taken drugs, so what the fuck do I know? Yeah, no, no, forget that for a moment, like, what the fuck do I know? You know drugs are bad for you. You know they have different effects on different people's bodies. It's like some people have been stabbed and they've come out okay. Some people have been stabbed in the same place and they've died. Some people have had suffered like just a simple punch and it's killed them. Some people have died with worry or fear. You know, we, we, we acknowledge certain things like the mental side of people too. Oh, something has an effect on someone. Someone's been offended so badly. They've become ill physically and they've gone to hospital. We acknowledge things like that. Yet we have so much violence going on in the world still. And um, we're doing stupid things to, you know, to our bodies and taking risks and things like that. Now we can talk about taking risks. We can talk about a lot of different stuff. There's people that do other things for fun. I mean, there's some. There's a lot of things that are dangerous activities that maybe it, it does depend on the on the individual and it's their choice to do what they want to do. But like things like parkour, uh, free running, if you know what it is, free running, where uh, it's quite popular. You get quite a few people who do it, where they run literally and jump and roll over obstacles, and they use this phil philosophical um, philosophy too, like this positive sounding philosophy, like. It teaches you to be brave, it teaches you to be fit and healthy in the mind and body. It teaches you to, the, the philosophy of not stopping and when you come to an obstacle you find a way around it. All that stuff's fine until you fall off a building or get hit by a truck. Now I've seen some of these feats done by some people and they are very good at athletic, agile people and they've got good skill and they're strong. But it's like they use the urban environment to do all these crazy stunts, climbing over walls, jumping over from rooftop to rooftop, uh, you know, rolling over things. It's like, it's cool to watch as such until you see someone's body get fall off a building or get crushed by something, you know. It's, like, it's people risking death and doing stunts and stuff like that. It's just like, they're throwing their life in danger, in danger's way, and it's like they don't value their lives enough. That's how I see it. That's my I'm just taking my take on it. Um, you know, I would say, why is up anyone out there who throws your life in front of danger for pleasure or to get popular fucking whatever it is views and stuff on a, on your YouTube channel or whatever it is to show you're a badass, to show that you survived the most dangerous thing where you could have died. I mean, I'm not a stunt artist myself, I don't do stunts believe it or not, <laughs> but every day that I walk down the street, I mean I've been, I've been living for 36 years now on this planet since making this video, I'm 36 years old in this video and you know, I have uh, not put myself purposely for the most part in, in, in danger's way, life risking, I mean you, you could get hit by a car on the street, fair enough, things could happen, but it's like I survive every day by being a um, miles away I try and avoid as much trouble as possible you know whereas so what are you going to call me the, like, why don't people call me the hero then and give me a trophy or something and say yeah man you're the world's most daredevil you, know, you, you avoid 
date you, you know you know what I mean it's like these people put themselves in dangerous way and then they avoid it just like that until there's skill to that they could have got themselves killed or mangled you know big time crippled or whatever and you know you know what I mean and it's like there's no role model there for young people I don't think you know it, it's great to be physically fit and healthy and and train and, and to be able to do certain things, physical arts, as I've said before, like, you know, uh, martial arts is one, stunts, gymnastics, and parkour, free running, fair enough, swimming, diving, mountain climbing, abseiling, whatever you want to do, you know, diving and space exploration, whatever you want to do, all this stuff's great, the human, humans are amazing, like they say on some of those videos, you know, the physical feats and mental feats that human beings can accomplish, <coughs> considering our bodies are not even... No matter how strong we are, there's a lot of, we still don't have a lot of the attributes like some animals have, you know, they're really good at climbing and in the wild and, you know, traversing the land, you know. So what I'm basically saying is, you know, um, you know, um, you know what I mean, though? It's like, we should be smarter, um, not just putting ourselves in danger, you know, you can train to be strong, train to be in control, but... Don't be a wally, as I always say to people, you know what I mean? Um, now, that's one thing. So, destructive things, when we see things as positive too, so people can find enjoyment in things, but they can still end up harming themselves, even when they're not depressed, let's say, and self-loathing, which I also find very weak, self-loathing, loathing people who are just unhappy, stressed out, pressured with life, and they look down on themselves and want to kill themselves. Or want to harm themselves when to me that just goes against everything that's like contradictory it's like your mind's imbalance is like you're pissed off you're not happy and you know what the problem is whether it's uh you feel you're not um able to deal with this world or the world's you know harsh on you uh you, you know people don't respect you people are treating you a certain way whatever it is you know there's a problem, it's pissing you off, you don't feel good, you don't feel happy about it. So that, that itself is every reason to know that you're sane. If you was insane, if you didn't know anything, you'd be laughing and smiling while you're getting run over. And you say, this person's a warrior, man. Yeah, this person knows how to live, man. They're not afraid of death, man. He looks death in the eye and he just smiles. No, that's just ridiculous. You've got no value for life. That's not brave. That's not sensible in my point of view. From my standpoint right you will fear death you will fear certain things you will not about being humble it's about being honest if you've got to try to be humble that means you're not honest with yourself like you're just trying to make it up like trying to be brave or trying to be honest or trying to be friendly or trying to be nice trying to be patient trying to be this trying to be understanding all the things you try to do try to like somebody try to love somebody try this try that try to you know that's all not a natural feeling. A natural feeling comes from only your understanding, fair enough, of what you know. And your natural instincts are how you feel, based on knowledge. And you always should know you don't know everything about something. Study, open your mind, have questions more than answers. Value and see that there's more for you to know. You don't need to blame yourself that you are not the world. You're not everything, you're just you. you so you don't know everything. You just know yourself and what you know. You won't make mistakes, there's nothing wrong with you. Like, the humble one is, is the, one, the one who's true with the self and honest with the self. You might say that you don't you don't get very far in this life by being honest because the world shits on you. And carry on being a coward and a slave to it, which I do not fucking do, okay? I'll be real, but I'm just saying. But you can't say that inside you don't know the truth. You, there's certain things you wish you could do that you could say. You Certain things that you think and believe that are personal to you. And if you lose that, then you lose your mind. Uh, so you need to understand that, okay, you're not happy about this thing. Oh, I'm too afraid to speak it out, though. Okay, whatever the fuck, because you're afraid some crazy fucker's going to attack you or whatever. But you know what's making you unhappy. If it's your own ability or lack of knowledge, you can always try to pursue trying to get more knowledge and, and ability or whatever it is or anything in life. You're there to do that. If you've got, if you're so pissed off and so able to destroy yourself... Why can't you be able to, you might not be able to deal with every problem, but you should be able to focus, in my opinion, to focus on trying to do better, trying to get something. 
and you will say, well, no, I've tried everything. You may say that you've tried everything and the world's just so full of shit and you just can't get beyond what is in front of you and the obstacles. No, there are always different ways. You just haven't found them. There are different ways you can go in life. There are different people you can talk to and you can switch off and you can go into your own mind and believe. Believe me, the mind is rich. The mind is rich, richer than any riches. Well, my name's Richard. <laughs> I mean, your mind is richer than that. you. The, the mind, the passion is the riches and the power and the health of life. And you are only who you are. In you, does that make sense? Fuck everything else in the image. You are what you are. And as long as you are living, that's every reason to fucking continue doing so. Go doesn't mean stop, does it? You're very, you're here. So, you know... I mean, dead dead people can't can't regret. So what I'm trying to say is, right, if you feel down, if you're not happy in yourself, there's no reason to start destroying yourself and, and fucking harming yourself or taking addictions or because the world is so hard that you're going to take start drinking alcohol every night or smoking weed or any drugs of any kind, hard or soft drugs or smoking or alcohol, of which any of these I don't do and I've never done. But if you do any of these because you want to escape just for that night, just to forget about the world and get high, what does that mean? Or get drunk, just off balance, just, you may say you feel relaxed. Of course you feel relaxed. It's slowing you down. Yeah? And uh, you could get run over by a car or crash your car if you are under the influence and driving, which I fucking advise people, just saying how you shouldn't be drinking and driving. Or you could get other people fucking killed too by doing so. So yeah, I'm sorry to swear, but really, you get if you put in other, well, you might say, "Well, fuck the world. The world fucks me." No, not everybody. You should be a man up. You should you should uh, manning up to be like you know um, owning up and being responsible as an adult, especially too, or or a young person growing up to be fucking mature and understand that you should be responsible of your own actions. You are not the crazy one. You are not the person who is giving you the shit. Are you? The world's full of shit, right? It's a hard life to live in. You may be having money problems, family problems, issues with your family, the people you're around, people at work. You may be around so much shit and nobody's helping you at all and you're in the darkness. But you feel... No, it's fucking speech. I'm not ranting. This is what I have to fucking live in. There's life and death all over the place. Right? There's people... You don't know whether to step out your front door or what in this world because this is real life, right? The world's a danger. The world is, like, unpredictable, full of shit, right? You are not that kind of fucking fucked up idiot, are you? You are a human, but you are someone who wants to... Because you're pissed off, right, already. So you want to escape. You want to chill out and smoke some weed and get drunk. Oh, man, let me forget about it. Forget about it. That means you're a pussy. That means you fucking give up to the world. You start smoking that fucking shit. So I don't want to slow my... I might not be the best boxer. I might not be the best fighter. And I'm not the strongest guy. But if I see somebody on, you know, who's like... Who's out of it? Who's falling all over the place? You know, oh, man, what's up? Man? I could just fucking knock him the fuck out, can't I? Simple as that. Any, I'm not even an old lady could just punch your fucking face, or you, you probably just fall over yourself. Do you really want to put yourself in that position? Do you really want to just harm yourself, cut yourself, burn yourself, try to kill yourself, hang yourself, take overdose, all this stuff? You know how fucking we. That means they've won. That means the thing that's pissing you off has won and you've given up. You say, I don't care, man. Well, that's what you are. You've just fucking given up on life. You've just given up on your fucking life. To be doing that day in, day out is the same as just killing yourself in one day. It's all you have been a loser, a fucking weakling. And don't you dare, people, you you shouldn't be sitting, in my opinion, you shouldn't be sitting there feeling upset about it. That, what, 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 what's the, no, because you love all this shit, obviously, you, you're happy that it's being done, because you're happy enough to give up on your life, kill yourself, and do all those stupid things to harm yourself, or just take drugs, and, oh man, it's nothing, man, just chill out on fucking weed, man, or whatever drugs you take, just to calm yourself down, because it's so much pressure, but you're a tough guy, maybe you've got a lot of tattoos, chains on your neck, what's up, blur? The fuck you, fuck you, I fuck everybody up, man. I speak loudly, man. I bully everybody, man. Yeah. And you put, you make it like you're a big tough guy, gangster, on drugs, selling drugs, getting everybody else intoxicated, and you'll fight anybody, showing your muscles, <coughs> coughing while you're smoking, yet you go down the gym. What are you doing? 
If you was really strong, you wouldn't be putting on that show. Good things don't need to be advertised, good products. It just is good. If you respected yourself, yeah, you might go down a gym workout, but you wouldn't give a fucking damn about how you dress, in what clothes you wear, how many chains around your neck, the latest fashion, whatever it is. If you like a certain style, fair enough. But if you dress a certain way to please other people, if you speak and act tough, yeah, yeah, because you want to show you're tough, because if you don't do that, people will not know you're tough. And that means you're afraid of them and you think they're going to bully you and try and imp- That means you're intimidated. That means people are controlling you. So you've got to speak tough, walk like you're tough, show off your muscle. You, you might be strong, but it's like if you're trying to show off something, an image, your clothes, how you dress, how you talk, yeah, man, I'm fucking hit. What? Uh, you know, you. Um, you dress a certain way. You, you, every choice you make, how you decorate your house, the car you buy, I wouldn't be seen dead in those shoes, man. What the fuck are you talking? I don't care if it's a man or a woman, anybody, anyone, whatever you do, for anyone, whether it's operational, plastic surgery, sex change, fucking fashion change, sex change, um, speaking a certain way, siding with a certain people or a certain team, joining this team, joining that team because you feel lost in the world, that you can't exist as an individual. All of those different things, it's all a kind of weakness. It feels that you, the the world rejects you, all of the evil around you in the world, all that unstable, um, lack of stability in the world, all of those negative things and those negative people in the world have brung you down. So now they control you like a robot for the rest of your life. You follow the latest trends, hip, flashes, um, fashion, uh, the way people speak, everything, the way you carry yourself, yeah man, what, you know, you, everything about you is just controlled by them, you are literally a walking billboard for these people, and then you take drugs and stuff to chill out, because yeah man, you're tired, or you're a human being, you've been at work every day, or whatever you're doing, you sell yourself to the company, you worship your company as though you're worshipping a god or something, you're a robot every day, not you I'm saying, not you personally, I'm saying, a lot of people out there, you know, this kind of idea, they just, they don't understand what life is, there's no value in life, there's violence, there's fighting, there's violence, there's, uh, you know, um, abusing people, there's bullying people on all levels, they can't even communicate, there's no respect in the family, no respect. so all this negative stuff that's going on in society, you become a product, you become like, it's like you're a wall, it's like you are a wall and they've spray painted their name on you, you are literally... Uh, um, for lack of a better term, the ghetto, you know, you literally are, you are the legs that they, they, that they are standing on anyway, it's like, you see what I'm saying, you, you are stronger as a human being, a baby, brand newborn baby with its open mind learning and its honesty is more stronger, you see what I'm saying, that's why they say strength in youth, when people get older, but the wisdom grows as you get older, but this is what I'm saying, you, you are literally stronger than the weakness, if you're positive, it doesn't matter what experience or knowledge you have or whoever you are. You've got a level of health inside you, but you need to have a healthy mind so to keep a healthy body. But all you have is people's voices in your mind. All you are is covered in logos, covered in them, you know, and brands. All you are, you know, it's like they've branded your fucking ass with this is how you're going to live to the day you die. Following this, following that. Oh, you know, that's all it is. You might watch some sports, you follow this team, you follow that team. You go down the pub, go down the bar, drinking, whatever it is. Your mind's out of it. And you're not really happy, you're moaning about life, you're moaning about everything, you know you're depressed, I got another hangover, man, I was drinking last night, yeah, I can't help it, I drink a lot myself. Why don't you fucking stop drinking today, it's fucking your brain up. You might get yourself killed if you're fucking driving and drinking and driving too, or you might fall over, stumble, fall down some stairs, break your fucking legs and never walk again or back. You might get fucking run over by a car, you might get mugged by one of the other idiots out there who's also trying to steal money. Why don't you, you know, cook so he can get his fix on drugs. Why do you do drugs? Why don't you t- tell your kids not to do drugs? You know what I'm saying? Stop taking drugs yourself. You do that shit, smoking and stuff's no good for your breathing. How can you do exercise and all that and still act like Mr. Cool when you smoke, when you drink? And it might, you might say, oh, it's just a little bit now and again, man. It's not, I remember what I told you. I'm not speaking to you and I'm not imposing my belief on people. I'm just saying that if you're harming yourself, that's not cool. Is that cool? Is that positive? Are you a badass? Are you tough? Yeah, man, what, what? It doesn't matter how tough you are, how many people can fight or fucking kill people, fight people. That doesn't make you tough. Destroy the whole world. That doesn't make you tough. 
by doing that. Yeah, because you're trying to prove a point. You have to prove something to them. But at the end of the day, you're still pissed off and you never find happiness that way. And the only thing you prove is you've got to chill out on weed and alcohol and get other people to follow you and you're stupid. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to, I'm going to get high. I'm going to, I mean, not me. I'm saying people, people out there that do this they, every night or often, they just want to chill and, on some kind of toxic drugs or weed or alcohol of some kind to get high and just chill and relax and ease themselves because the life's too hard, man. And you still go down the gym and all that stuff, and you do, yeah, man, nobody's perfect, man, nobody's perfect, man, you know. And you've got some stupid bitch, excuse my language, some, some woman who wants to follow some man who keeps beating her and fucking her wrong. So excuse my language, excuse what I'm saying, and she's selling her ass like a hoe every night to whoever, um, as if that's okay. And you've got men and women just got no value, morals for it, that... If, even the way they talk now, I mean, maybe I'm speaking some foul language in this video, but I'm speaking to mature people, but I'm just saying, right, I should be. But the thing is, you know, this is not a good um, image for us, for societies and for young people growing up and kids. Who are the fucking role, role models? Shouting and swearing, I mean, just cussing people off and stuff. This is not the point. In this video, I'm just speaking about this whole problem. That's why I'm getting a bit uh, expressive, as I say. I'm, I'm forgetting what I'm doing here because I'm talking about it. Cause, is all the violence you see, young people, they they're fucking disconnected from stuff. They're just on their phones in this generation, everyday phone, uh, games. Yeah, I know technology is great and everything, but their head's already in the fucking cloud. They're not even human on planet Earth anymore. And people are almost like that. And people are just, they, they get violent. They film up fights on their phones and there's fights. There's murder, murder rates up. You've got knife crime in the UK. A lot of gun crime too. And you get that all over America, shootings in schools. Nobody's happy with their lives. They're just on on drugs. People, just, you know, the drug epidemics going on. Uh, people um, having you know sex changes and transgender or whatever they want to have. Um, and it, the idea being, for not I'm not speaking about specific things, but I'm saying people don't know what they want. They're just totally lost. People in this world are just trying to find. You may say trying to find themselves or find their own way to peace and happiness. Fair, fair enough. I'm not someone who can tell someone how to do that. But what I'm saying is, is you're looking for happiness. You're looking for this. You're looking. For, you're always lost. You never find where you are. You're right here. You got to understand yourself and understand why you're not happy. If you understand why you're not happy, really, and if you can literally be free and find the peace inside yourself and logic, you'll realise that you wasn't born as a slave to the rest of society. That's just what is being imposed upon you and you're being bullied and pushed around with. So the moment you give up and you say, right, I've got to do this a certain way or I've got to change myself and my appearance or whatever I do, how I speak, I've got to join this team, join that team, however it might be, um, people at work you suck up to and other ones you put down, all of this, every way you act, walk, be, think, dress, uh, you're a walking billboard, man. As long as you, if you keep doing all that, you're selling your ass like a prostitute every day, for fuck's sake. To who, for fuck's sake? For nothing as well. So what I'm trying to say is, you're sick with the disease that they've fucked your mind with. It's like AIDS for the brain. AIDS for the you're going around and you're saying, it's all right, and you're, ah, fuck it, it doesn't matter, man, you're fuck, fuck everything. That's what the youth's talking Have you heard the youth of today? Thinking what the next generation is going to be like. Fuck the world even more, man, fuck everything. They're not giving a damn. That's what it's going to be. So, if you want to hope for tomorrow, you've got to have, you've got to have uh, peace today. Realise that you are free, and to be a real badass, you're like, I don't fucking need anybody. That's what you should be like. If you're a really valuable person, and you're like, I know more than the motherfucker. You know more than the motherfucker. Okay, be, if you know the truth of what's right about you, you should know yourself too. If you, you should study, you touch something hot, it burns your hand. You don't want to hold it again. You know that. You taste something that doesn't taste nice. You know it's, don't, don't eat that again or drink that again, right? So how can you just be a slave to the society, act like you're so tough, or act like you're so pissed off with it, and yet you follow it, and just live their way, and you moan about the society, but yet you want to harm yourself, I'm never going to fucking harm myself for people, I'm not going to, I will never start drinking or smoking, even one, I won't, I won't even go to an event I don't want to go to, or just go out to some bar or some pub, because I, if I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to follow shallow people, and say that's my friend's, if they don't respect me for who I am, and you talk about that, oh yeah man, 
political correctness and that, and you've got to respect everybody, but you don't respect your goddamn self, and, and you follow people that would actually shit on you if you were to be, if you were to be honest, and just speak nicely and be Mr. Nice, because people bully you if you're too nice, don't forget, they walk all over you, and you know that, right? So, and you think, okay, so you've got to be a certain way. No, that's bullshit. They choose to shit on you. Bullies are the same when you're in school as a child or when you're older. People that people should be in control of their own actions. Maybe you're nice, maybe you're not. Maybe you're a slow learner, maybe you're smart, maybe you're stupid, maybe you're clever, maybe you are you look a certain way, whatever it is. People treat you a certain way and that's down to them. It doesn't matter how wrong you may be in whatever you do, but they are, should be in control of their own actions and they shit on you. And what do you do? You shit on yourself by following and trying to join the club. You can't beat them, join them. Yeah, fair enough. But you never join, you always lose yourself. You lose your very existence and identity of who you are. Fuck what others think. I mean, to yourself, the knowing of you as your individual, as a human being, because we're all human baby, human beings, we're born, you know. Two arms, two legs, that's all it is. You know what I'm saying? And you walk around like a goddamn billboard for people or someone. It's like you're walking around sucking up to people, following them, like talking to their back. It's almost like they don't give a fuck if you live or die. As long as you're paying them, they'll use you anyway. You never help yourself enough. For real, I'm saying really help yourself. And you may say, well, I can help myself less. I need more help from others. And you try and use all this smart talk. No, no, no. But if it's negative shit and it's not real, then that's not, is it? I'd rather I'd rather have no friends than follow a bunch of motherfuckers who don't respect me for who I really am and just want me to buy into their shit and use me in some way and then just give me a few scraps on the side to get by. No, fuck that shit. So I'm tougher in that way, yeah. I might not be the toughest guy. I might not be the strongest guy. I might get bullied on the street. I might get knocked out by some punk. But I'm just saying, <coughs> I have dignity in my fucking self. I would never stoop to that level. I would never start taking drugs or something, because because I well, fuck the world. How dare the fucking world, you know, put me? You know what I mean? Like, I would never do that. I'm clear about you know. I know healthy mind and healthy body is what it's all about. Morality and helping others and things like that is a good thing, a good trait that we should have as human beings. But I'm saying respect. But if you don't fucking respect yourself, what the hell chance have you got? You do everything because you can't get by on this earth with the mountains, grass, the mountains, the sky above, and nature, and everything we've been given. There's people that are born into certain parts of the world, yeah. People that feel oppressed through like racism and things like in certain modern cities and stuff in the world and countries. But there's other parts of the world too, which is like in poverty and things like that, or where you know they're in a, in a place where there's like famine and stuff, things like that. Yeah, okay. But I'm just saying, as far as planet Earth goes and nature, we're just beings. We're human beings. We're smart. We got we make technology and all that good stuff. But what are certain things? Some of a lot of it's good. But I'm just saying. Everything. But the thing is, like we 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 be dumb, and, and the thing is, like you know. We are just animals, really. We're creatures that were born on the earth. We're on the earth, you know, and we can't even fucking um, be natural. You know what I mean? We're always making up bullshit, tripping over our own fucking stupid steps. We never. It's like we never turn the light on. We're just walking in the darkness. So, blaming people, you know, seeing negative. Even when you look and you see negativity in your life, and as I've said, things that are making you not happy. And then you want to self harm, or you want to kill yourself, or you find it okay to take up, say, take up certain addictions and stuff, and just make it out like it's not so bad. Just having a drink here or there, having a smoke. I'm not religious. I'm just telling you, it's reality. I understand this, right? It's not learning because I've been through mistakes and stuff, and I, I've changed my ways. No, I've always been like this. I'm not perfect, but I've always known that it's better not to fuck yourself up, and it's better not to follow a motherfucker. I was bullied when I was in school. I did martial arts when I when I was growing up, and I'm not like the toughest guy. But even without that, I'm just saying I was bullied when I was in school. I've been bullied most of my life. I see a lot of negativity in the world. I'm going through hard times now in my life, uh, more than some people. But, but things you don't know. But everybody's got their own story in life and different things. But I've never, ever, ever fucking wanted to like cut myself or kill myself. I've been in a temper before and I've like punched myself in the face or silly things like that or punched the wall like just showing like just being immature like in a temper with people and stuff but that's like no just ridiculous stuff but I've never wanted to like I've never wanted to self harm I've never been so pissed off and felt I can't take the word I'm going to hurt myself or I'm going to or 
there's something wrong with me. I'm going to hurt. Never. I would, I've always known that there's people around that are just fucking violent. There's people in the world that are just negative and I don't want anything to do with that. So I felt upset and felt confused and upset with the world that I'm living in. But I've never felt upset and confused with myself. I feel uncomfortable that I've not had certain abilities or knowledge or um, the available um, situation and such that I could, uh, sorry, the, the available um, what's the word, resources that I could actually deal with certain things. It was like, hard. I felt sad that I myself personally was lacking in that. And I did want to have, to make change or have a little bit of access to some resources or something that I could do or some help, you know, that I could deal with things. But it just wasn't available. So I focused on the good. This world's a big world and it's a big life. It's a small, short life, but it's also a big life and a big world. And we can always pursue the positive things if we have some passion and imagination. Avoid the trouble the best you can. Try to talk with talk with people that are positive or think along the same lines of you as you if you can as if you can if you can. But don't follow people and don't look for things that the goodness is in you. Find what you care about. It's not about if you, how you find it. Know what you love. Know what you care about. Know what you want, and you'll see that you're actually a logical person because you've got emotions like everybody else. But you're pissed off about this, pissed off about that. They can't feel what that is. Why? Why do you have to escape or start taking drugs or drinking or something to escape or <clears throat> harm yourself? You might feel good today. You won't feel good tomorrow. In time, you might, you might have a shorter life. You might have an injury or anything could happen. So I'm saying is, is I would not be doing shallow things. I'm not saying I'm the most perfect person. I make mistakes. I'm not saying that I, I'm, I'm so great. I mean, even me, when I eat food, I might not eat the most healthy diet. Nobody's perfect. But I'm just saying, for the most part, they say the best things in life are free. I don't know. I mean, I mean, what people people made money. But what I'm trying to say is, who the fuck would they? And I'm trying, people spend it. What I'm trying to say is, like, you've got a life, and um, your passions are what's important. And certain things in life, all you need is passion and limited things you know you, you you can only you can only sleep in one bed you can only eat one meal on the table drive one car you know um only spend the money that's in your hand only drink that drink you're drinking tea for me it would be tea you know um you're holding a pen one pen in your hand or, and paper there you can only write or draw that thing uh, it's one life you just got to enjoy what you have in that moment enjoy the moment when you're with someone who's with you in front of you who is that person why are you there? What are you actually thinking? Are you actually listening? And whether you are agreeing with or disagreeing with, it's definitely like a mirror reflection of what you actually think. And the questions that are really being asked, you're actually really thinking about. And the ones you're not actually thinking about, you're just answering by yourself all the fucking time. So, weeks pass and months pass and years pass and, you know, decades pass. I'm just saying to you now, it doesn't matter if you're 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever age you can be, 50, 60, whatever. It's one life. And we can talk about the journey and all the experience that it adds up to and all the experiences an old person may talk about the experience they've gained in life and all that knowledge that they have built up. But we're in it right fucking now. And it might be a, a life full of challenges and hardships. But are you telling me that, you're telling yourself that you'd rather be a walking billboard, people telling you how it's got to be, following this shit, following that shit, and then you just chill on the weekend smoking weed and drinking alcohol and money, that's all you're thinking about, money and ego and pride and you want to look like you've got money, you want to dress like you've got money, you want to look like the latest stars with their hair sticking up some funky style to look like look like some famous person, you want to get a new phone just so you look hip, it's all trendy, it's all fashion, it's like some goddamn accessory for people to use, like some, it's like some goddamn prostitute waving a new golden dildo, look, I've got a golden dildo. You know, it's like, well, that's, it's like someone, you've got to show off everything, you know. You know, it's like someone, I mean, I see young young people going around, people on these ele electronic skateboard things, and it's like, it blows my mind. They're looking at a mobile phone, they're just going, going along down the street on these electronic skateboards, it blows my mind. You do what you want to do with that, or your golden deal, though, I don't care, but what I'm trying to fucking say is, this is what it is. They don't even know how to use their goddamn legs anymore. People are not becoming human. People are becoming, I mean, becoming less human. All it is is all this AI, robot technology. Just click your fucking brain up, hook it up to the cloud, chip up your ass, chip in your brain. You're talking about all this stuff. 
Next thing you're gonna have mutants walking up and down the street. I mean, the world's a sick place. There's pedophiles. There's fucking, I don't know. There's cannibalism going on, incest. You've got people of different religions. Then you've got other people who worship the devil. I don't. You know, there's, people, there's people that believe in aliens. There's people that want to travel to space. There's people that want to commit suicide. There's people that um, are just um, you know. It's people coming up with all kinds of people trying to people that believe certain things and people that have their own illusions or delusions. But whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Everyone's entitled to their way of living. And if you want to jump off a cliff, you can do that, right? You you was born into this earth. If you want to jump off a cliff somewhere out in nature, you can do that. Yeah. If you you know what I'm saying. If you want to if you want to get shot by a laser beam and say, well, this is the a mad scientist. He says this would be the honor of his life to be shot by the own laser beam the laser gun that he created <coughs> fair enough <coughs> it fucking make a difference to me you know what I'm saying that's what you want someone to do but what I'm trying to say is you got to think straight and understand what you're doing there's no point in saying oh this world's full of shit you're stressed out and you're confused and you don't even realise that that is every reason to actually want something the, the negative feeling and the pain like pain you feel physical pain that's a warning it's saying, ah, there's something, that's not right, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's just, so, you know, not be funny, being funny, really. Uh, and, uh, and so basically, like, it's like saying, yeah, better things can be done here. Let go of the burning cup. You know what I'm trying to say, fuck's sake. It's like the mind, uh, you're fucked off, you're pissed off, you're burning headache thinking about some shit someone said or something. Ah, you should think, ah, I'm so, I've got such a fucking headache, man. There's things that can be done here. Not not go and smoke some weed or take some drugs or drink some alcohol. No. But there's better things that can be done here. Oh, I'm pissed. I'm drunk. Not me, but you. Maybe let's say someone out there could be, I'm saying, drunk walking down the street. Oh, can't stand up probably. Oh, just smack my head on a lamppost. There's better things that could be done here. You made another wrong step. Someone listened to shit. For months in his job, he was getting bullied by the people. And then one night, let's say, let's say hypothetically, if someone was getting so much stress at home or at work or at school or whatever, and that person was just so pissed off, so fucked off with life and everything, and then they just had a drink to just relax themselves, to forget about the pain they, they're going through. These tough people, yeah, man. You know, and the guy does it, or the guy or the girl, and then they walk down some steps fall down the steps, next thing you know, they wake up as a cripple. Bit further down the line, the guy's still in his wheelchair, maybe still having a drink now and again, after stopping for a few years, he goes back on a drink, or or he just says he wants to commit suicide. Or he's, or he's in a wheelchair, giving a fucking lecture to people. He might be an older person, or she, or she might be, he or she might be 20-something years old, on a fucking university stage, in, you know, in a hall, lecture hall, telling everybody, you know, I used to drink, and I, you know, I had one accident that night, and now I've joined the glory of God. Maybe they've become religious, or maybe, maybe not. But what, but they're telling the story of their life. It's like these people that have spent a lifetime in prison, almost half a lifetime in prison, and talking about how they used to be in a gang and all the all the massacres that they've done or whatever, and um, mistakes they've done, and, and now now they're going to start talking about it. And you get all these um, youth, these young people listening. And positivity is always good. It's never too late to be positive, and it's never too late to be, you know, trying to offer some positive uh, messages, like I'm trying to do. Not trying to, not trying to steer people, or not trying to fucking get people to like you and give you some more likes and thumbs up. Because again, that's selling yourself like a fucking prostitute. Like you need people, as I've said, advertising yourself like you can't get on by yourself and just value your life and find peace in yourself. But I'm just saying that that person who maybe got drunk or took drugs and then couldn't, they was out kind of half fucking high or whatever, chilling, forgetting about their woes, they couldn't deal with nasty bullies and stuff, and they end up falling down some stairs, they harm themselves, they're crippled, they wake up years down the line, or sometime later, they're in a fucking wheelchair, and they're still worried about their likes, and, and the same idiots, and they're thinking, oh, finally, I'm going to start to win now, and they're in a wheelchair, and they're trying to give a speech on a fucking TED, or whatever the fuck it is, or some kind of university lecture hall, People when they go to different countries, or they got when they country, and you got you got people there in that country, people are in that lecture hall, and all these people listening, you know. Oh yeah, do you see that person in the wheelchair? Yeah, yeah. What are they talking about? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, and the person telling the story of what happened and that, you know. But nobody's going to fucking listen. You get one or two people to listen, but then you get people that don't even fucking listen. They just see it like that. So what I'm trying to say is, learn from your mistakes. Yes, learn from your mistakes. Spread a good message. Everybody should learn from each other's uh, this and that message, uh, things too, even if they don't have the same kind of issues in their lives. We should all be trying to strive towards positivity and doing the right thing and just not being ignorant towards our safety, our health, mental health, physical health. You know, if you're a bully, if you're a victim of bullying, you've done nothing wrong. If you're not trying to harm anybody, you don't hate anybody, you're not looking down. Remember this, right? My point of view is this. You don't have to conform. <coughs> don't start talking about political correctness and treating people fairly, whether you're religious or non-religious, whoever you are, scientists or whatever, and you yourself, I don't know, fuck what shirt you're wearing off uniform, why are you being a slave to people like that? Why do people have to, have to do that? Dress a certain way. You're talking about the latest fashion, you've got a certain flashy haircut or style, or the way you look, you look in the mirror, you mirror your, you know, whatever, it might be a goatee, fucking chain around your neck, um, you know, earring, uh, what do you call it, studs, um, rings, whatever the fuck it is, more tattoos, it's up to you, if you like that style, fair enough, and we like different things, different cultures and styles, we're all influenced by different things, it's okay, but I'm saying you need to understand yourself, we need to understand what we really want to do, not just do it for the sake of it, it's like these young people that, like, you know, like hip hop, like rap music, like before, um, some of the older stuff used to have like, some more meaning in some of the tracks, but nowadays, you get uh, the younger generation, some people don't have, don't have a fucking clue what it's about, or another culture, let's say, and they're just trying to um, get with it, and then they, they don't really understand what it's about, you know what I mean, it's like, it's, like, it's like having a book with no meaning, it's going to have some kind of meaning to it, nowadays, nowadays, they just make movies just to get money, Commute, computer effects and technology is great and everything, 3D and special um, CGI, but in a lot of movies, there's like some of, a lot of the stuff that's out there. I don't see like a lot of quality. They're just trying to rush stuff out to get money. Some movies are good, yeah, but it's like you know what I mean. It's like there's got to be something to it, you know, some um, meat and potatoes or whatever you want to call it, you know, some substance, some content to it. Otherwise, you're going through this life like a shallow shell of a human being, like an egg shell with no egg in it. You're going through your life for what? What you're doing with your life? I'm trying to say. I saw a guy speeding down the road the other day in some Ferrari showing off. Showing off. There's car accidents happening all the time. You know, there's people falling off of fucking high buildings trying to take selfie photos, stick photos. And what is, is the people, it's illogical. I, it, we might have this modern day, but human beings, we're still human. You've got to look at certain things. Why do people take drugs? I'll say again. <coughs> there's a fear in you. Fear is the only darkness has been said, and fear is destroying you, not you, but all of us. Fear to different levels is what harms us and brings us down. Fear can distract you. You look at the world, you feel fear. It's very normal to like, be confused and not know how to deal with something. You don't need to prove that you're tough or to your friends. Man, I can, do, I can, I can walk on broken glass and walk on burning coals just so they're going to accept you. And then one day you, you end up really fucking yourself up, hurting yourself or killing yourself. No, fuck that, they're not real friends, they're shitting on you, they're out of their fucking mind. You're more foolish to follow people and do things to prove to them something, just so you can join their group. So you can be, what, more human or more full? You were born as a human being, there's nothing wrong with you, you don't have to bow down to people like that, or get fucking the ass. I'm being real with you. That's what it is, right? So I'm basically trying to fucking tell you now, to point, you're catching on anything I'm fucking saying here, or you're going to continue with your whole life doing things to follow people. I'm not going to do that, I won't be doing that. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just saying, you go through your life, I'm not going to offend myself, don't you offend yourself by following people is my advice. If you're fucked off and pissed off by certain things, why do you still follow them and bow down to them? Because there's no other way. Because you're okay, with, if you're okay with certain things, be happy. If you're pissed off, don't fuck yourself up. Well, follow ourselves, what are you doing? Or kill yourself, or just, just be positive, just try and help yourself. Just showing off or trying to do something because you're not cool, you're not hip, you're not in with the in with the crowd, bandwagon. You don't even know where you're going. Buying things because your friend bought one. It's that same old shit. You got to get the latest this, the latest that. Why? If it works right, if it's okay, if it's not broke, don't fix it for fuck's sake. You know what I'm trying to say? I can watch a movie on this computer here. It's great. I think the technology is great we've got nowadays. 
We've got VR and all that stuff too. We've got technology. I've got software on my computer. I can make music on this computer. I can do my animation, video editing, movie editing. I love all that. But I don't think I need to, I don't. I know I don't need to connect my brain into a chip, into the cloud and fucking make, a, a, I don't need that. Well, I, I can just watch a movie here. And I can live in the real world, breathe some fresh air, get some fresh air, go for a walk. I don't need to breathe in drugs and smoke some fucking drugs and that. Why do I need that? I can drink. There's a lot of food and drink that tastes really nice. It's not good to be addicted to anything. And I understand people have addictions and stuff. But if it's a mental thing, that's fucking ridiculous. Your mental power can overcome a lot of stuff. The mental power, the mind, okay, is focused. the mind's a powerful weapon. The mind's a powerful tool, too. And so, you know, one powerful tool, too. I'm saying, you know, and you're the mind powerful tool and you know you can use your mind to bring yourself back into better health even if you're sick you can bring yourself into positiveness if you've got a positive attitude in your mind you can overcome and wash out the negative stuff even gradually okay and it's the same with the physical do if you're feeling kind of uncomfortable maybe start doing some exercise don't keep sitting around fucking doing nothing you know what i'm trying to say you don't the longer you don't do anything the harder it's going to be and the more dead you become sitting there, it's like, oh, no energy. Like, oh. Oh, there's people in this world that's like, they've never even taken drugs and they look like they're on, they look like they're on drugs. And like, oh, they can't even speak properly. You know what I mean? Well, you know, you know. And then they may oh, go, fuck, man. It's like, everything is like, uh, they can't even look at you when, they, when they're talking. They can't even have any manners to fucking speak. There's shit on the whole world. They're a product of the fucking graveyard. Or was you born in a graveyard? What the fuck's wrong with people? No goddamn respect for people. Unless when you're telling someone what you want. And you're abusing your power because you're some manager or you're someone in charge. No, you're pissed off and you want to show that you are the one. Ah, there's no life. You may, you may piss on your own shoes one day. You know what I'm saying? You bend down and hit your head on something. Watch where you're fucking going. That's why my advice is... Treat people fairly, but treat your goddamn self fairly too. And you'll realise that we're all valuable to ourselves. If you can't, but you can be valuable to others, fair enough, you may put other people first. And that's a great thing to do. Brilliant, I love that. You can never do that if you don't put yourself first. Because the power and all the good comes from you. The light, the strongest point of the light comes from the flame or comes from the actual light bulb, the centre, the heart of it. It shines out. That's got to be very powerful. So you need to be powerful. The more powerful, more positive you are and powerful inside yourself, the more of a good influence it's going to have on the outside world. Hard, the soft, you know, the, the strong, the gentle, whatever. But it's got to be all balanced. But it's got to be you know, balanced. But there's got to be listening. There's got to be questions. There's got to be humble honestness. There's got to be, uh, you know what I mean? Not trying to control everything and force it, force things. That's shit. But it's like there's got to be a control of yourself to make anything work. Don't keep following people talking to their backs, walking down the road, pissed off, and uh, you know what I mean, like, like thinking that there's something wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Thinking there's something wrong with you, so you don't mind harming yourself or your psychological state, just a little bit, or and physical state, just so you can escape a little, or harming yourself, or killing yourself, or you know, or or trying to harm others, or get other people to do things. That, that's no way out. There's no chance there for a better world, you know. So you're not a robot or a machine anyway. So my, my basic point is I'm going to stop this video and talk to you again soon. Thanks for listening. This is just over an hour of talk. This is, and I've put my time out to talk about this. I've sworn a lot. I've babbled on. I'm not talking to you personally. I'm not talking to anybody else who's trying to offend anyone. But this is what I see. Right? It's a dangerous world. There's a lot of things going on. And we need to be, need to be positive in ourselves. Don't keep blaming the world. Look, look, look the way you dress every day. What's all that about? The way you're speaking... What are you thinking about? Oh, what so and so says with his, with his um, with his jargon, you know? And he's like, what is it all about? Those people you follow every day. Those people. Think about those people you see every day. Is that really what it's going to be for the next ten years or the next thirty years of your life? No, life goes on. There's a lot of things you could be doing. You can get out of that. You go somewhere else or find better things for yourself. Do things. Make something positive rather than just make yourself wasted on fucking drugs day in day out. Going around, I'm in a nerf foot, bridging, I'm sitting nerf in my blood. Yeah, what what the fuck? Covering your face in a mask every day. What's that? What? what? You know, that's nothing. There's nothing there. It's just, it's just, it's just complete. You're pissed off, or you're going to show everybody that you're the fucking 
you're, you're the shit, you know, and that's all there is. It's the same as people in a job. It doesn't matter if you're in a gang, in a, any kind of environment, if you're family, friends, uh, your local, um, whatever it is, sports club, whatever it is, you know, uh, people just violent in general, in prisons, um, in a job situation, in an office somewhere. People, just, if you're that competitive with people, why has it got to become competition? It's, I understand survival and stuff and money and that, I understand, but it's like, why has it got to be like survival, like you can't survive in your own, in your own sanity? Why can't there be sanity? Why have you got to be insane? Why have you got to have them knock out half your brain so you've got to be speaking a certain way, acting, putting it on, because I've got to show them. You mean, why have you got to show them? Are they pulling you by a rope? Come here and show me. Prove to me you're something. Why have you got to do that? Was you born for them? You should regard negative motherfuckers as a piece of dust in the wind that wouldn't even fucking matter if you saw them or not. Because guess what? They wouldn't give a fuck if you didn't either. So you should do the same thing. If they don't care what, you, what your existence is and matters, then why do you give a fucking damn about them? Why do you even bother to think about them? Focus on some positive stuff. Focus on creating something, making something. Focus on doing something with your life. And tell your kids... The same thing, don't, don't fucking do, you know, do drugs or alcohol or smoke or fucking, you know, abuse yourself, harm yourself, harm others, beat people up and, you know, beating women or whatever it is. There's all kinds of stupid shit out there. We should protect and love nature. We should protect and love ourselves first and foremost. And then, in productivity, in the best physical state a human being can be, you know, if you want to do more exercise, you can fill up. You know what I'm saying? Mental and physical, healthy beings, we can do more and make more of, of this world. And, you know, as individuals and value ourselves and respect ourselves and each other, then work as a, as a species to create a fucking better society. We're smart enough to create all this technology and stuff. What the fuck's up? That, that amount of people going around shooting incidents, guns, knives, drugs, that amount of money being put into certain things as well, uh, technology and whatever, but the ho they've still got parts of the world in, in famine and stuff, the fighting, the wars, the, you know, all this stuff going on, I, mean, I know, <coughs> you know, people are people, but I'm just saying, you know, like a Depeche Mode song, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying, people, you know, fair enough, people are people now, and you're always going to have fighting and, you know, young people um, trying to work, work out where they stand in life, and but where is it? I'm trying to say we've got to understand where does competition come from. The idea of it, this um, savageness. Where does it come from? Confrontation, friction, competition, the feel of the need to be important. What the fuck are you going on about important? You're already a human being. I don't need anyone to fuck. I don't give a fucking damn shit what someone thinks of me if they like me or hate me. I just fucking do what I do. You might say, well, it matters if people are starving you. Yeah, but that's what I'm trying to say. But there's people out there moaning. There's got people in uh, ghettos and stuff moaning that they're, um, you know, not got a lot of money or whatever. They're underprivileged or whatever. But I see people that are looking much more privileged than me. There's people that have got nice clothes on. They've got um, cars and whatever. I mean, fair enough, some people start selling drugs and, and becoming prostitutes or whatever for the society, obviously. Because they've been beaten down into that. But I'm just saying there's people in the world and all kinds of stuff. And they're following the wrong people too. But I'm just saying there's people though that, that are working though. There are people that do earn money though, right? honestly. And they've they've still got their own little apartment or flat. They've got a, a car or whatever the fuck. A motorbike, car, whatever. They've got computer. They've got the internet. They've got food. They're going out to fucking restaurants now and again. They've got a bed to lay in. There's places in the world where people are starving, literally, got no food or water, they've got bones sticking out of their body and diseases and no clothes on it on the back, little children. There's people in the world like that. Families, and some of them, like, they've got the family, like, all supporting each other. And then, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just mind-boggling. You're going around, you know, the youth of today as well, a lot of, there's a lot of crime going on, a lot of violence, and then it's are ignored by the older generations. The, the older generations should be taking care because uh, they're, yeah, yeah, you're creating this, gener this um, what is it, a big waste paper bin, rubbish bin or what? You're creating this big society with all this technology for the next generation to live in too and then you just leave it to the shits? You've got to educate and fucking, you know, send a good message and be a good message role model. 
You can't give a message out of any kind if you don't believe in certain things in your heart. If you want good, if you're so fucked off with negativity, start being positive. Thus, naturally, with or without your enforcement, but you should enforce it too, be spreading a good message out, light to the world. Like I said, light from the light bulb, light from the sun. So that way, the the younger generations will see the care that we've put into this generation, into our world, uh, societies, and they will see the good message, and they will just learn naturally, and they will know what's right and wrong. That's why people were more genuine before. There was less amazing technology and stuff, but back in the day, people were more normal, more genuine. And, you know, uh, you know what I mean? They used to communicate more better in a lot of ways. But it's like, you know, we got in some ways we're moving forward, in some ways we're moving back. But it's like, you know, it's like you should be, in my opinion, you know, spreading a good message, and you know, and... Um, and how to communicate. The, 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 the difficult thing here as well is technology is amazing. Technology is good, but how do we continue, um, how do we move forward with technology? And how do we move forward with humanity? My fucking simple point is this. You don't need to fucking connect people's brains up to the cloud with a stupid chip and need to pre bring people into a four-dimensional world, whatever the fuck, or six. The point is, good enough technology. I've got a screen here. I can watch movies on this screen. I can... Uh, I can write a story, type a story, I can do animation, I can make music and do cool stuff like that. We've still got the physical world, we can go out and do sports and all kind of things and enjoy the world, okay? <coughs> we still are human, we're around each other so we can communicate, we can use technology to communicate in the way we are doing now, just through uh, whatever, on the phones or on the computer, uh, it's fine. Or face to face, we can talk, we can communicate more, we can, you know, uh, human beings... Right? I'm trying to say to you, how do we move on? How do we, re we need to recognize, we need to slow down a minute. We've got AI and all that stuff to think about here, and robots, so we need to hold back a minute, hang on. Realize and value, because there's no value in anything anymore. Back in the day, you had fucking Michael Jackson and Madonna. Some of these people didn't even fucking value themselves on drugs and changing their appearance all the time. But what I'm trying to say is, you got Mark, what I'm just saying, you got Michael Jackson and Madonna, you had the, the um, the stars are before, and you knew who they were. You'd value the music, or you'd value the latest movies out. Nowadays, nothing's valued. It's just coming and going. We're at a good stage now with technology. We've got some good stuff. I think we need to hold on a minute and say, okay, you know, there's always advancements that can be made in these things, but we should be looking at things and saying, okay, now how can we deal with us as a human species and do some good for ourselves? They're always talking about this stuff on the internet, like, oh, they're looking for answers out there in the universe and stuff and all this stuff you know about studying the universe and all this other stuff you know what I mean and they put a billion couple of billion zillion whatever the fuck into making some space satellite or something but meanwhile on planet earth what fucking good could have been done we should have done some good for ourselves and money can help but not only money but people getting off your goddamn fucking ass and helping people I'll say that People getting off your goddamn fucking ass, excuse my language, and just helping each other, being respectful, being polite, that goes a long way. If you can just cheer everybody up, because there's so many miserable people, depressed, unhappy fucking people, overtired people. If you can't start treating, pe treating people like, being, like human beings, being a human being yourself, more respectful to the human being, you need, everybody needs to be individually respectful to the human being, the human, the human race. Meaning another human or yourself and all of that. Working six fucking seven days, or 20 goddamn hours a, uh, a day. No, you need to understand you're a human fucking being about making more money. So money, yeah, we've got to work things out here. What's going on? Now, I can talk about the Venus Project and things like that. And, um, you know, Jock Fresco, I'm, I'm a big fan of his, so look up things like that, okay? If you want, He talks about making a world where there's no money and there's other ways to move forward because it's like the... The biggest evil, root of all evil, and all that. But yeah, but I'm just saying the point is though that I'm similar lines. I'm talking about just being human, you know, valuing human life, humanity. There's got to be a way we can embrace certain technologies and things we can use to use as tools. But that's what we should do. We we should make tools to help us in life where necessary, necessary, and we should make tools for pleasure and stuff. But I'm not talking about making some goddamn fucking uh, sex robot that just chops off your dick, you know. Just I'm just saying. I mean, just, just, before you, know, I'm not saying some fucking 
taking drugs uh, just because it makes you feel good for a few seconds to forget about everything. As though that's okay. It's like being dead or half dead for a few seconds. You've got to make things that actually work that's productive to the human race and to you. If you just jump off a bridge and kill yourself, that might end whatever you want and that might be the thing you want to do. But you might land in the middle of the motorway and cause a pile up and kill everybody else. And that's no good, is it? And hurt everybody else. You've got to be, and you say, well, you know, if, it, and if, it, if you can see the logic in, well, you've got to be a bit responsible to everybody else. Everybody's different, yeah, but responsible to every, towards everybody else in your actions. If you can see that, then why not be responsible to yourself? And you might say, well, yeah, well, I've, I've got my own choices. Before you make a choice, hold back and think about it. You can be confident, you can be patient, you can be all that stuff, humble and honest. But you need to be honest is the first thing. Not about forcing humbleness upon yourself or trying to be brave. No, question things. What is it about? Sleep on it. Do something good. Find some positive activities. You might cheer yourself up a bit. Find some free time to do something you like. Find a new hobby. Find some passion. Something. Fuck if, if you can't find anybody else or not who's interested to talk about it. Maybe later you will. But you've got to have it yourself first. Focus on what you want to do and what you like. And then maybe the next day you'll wake up feeling a lot better. Or you know, in a couple of weeks' time you'll look back and think, wow, you know, I used to be fucking wasting my life. Maybe you'll forget about it for years and years because you'll just move on to better things. You may be living in a different place. You may have passions and you may be really doing well with your passions on your creation. You could be a musician, an artist, a singer, an actor. Uh, I mean, you might like to make videos, take photos, do artwork, drawing, painting, animation, making computer games, <coughs> playing sports, teaching, training people to play sports, learning languages, teaching languages, whatever, doing big murals and you know, graffiti artists legally. <laughs> let's say it that way. You could be a sport, you could be a martial arts expert, a teacher, trainer, you might be on TV, you might be helping young people in schools, you could be doing anything, there's so much you could do, exploring the outdoors, nature, uh, getting videos of that, making a website about it, designing some kind of clothes, this, uh, design, there's so much stuff you could be doing, so much you could be doing, travelling around the world, you could be... Um, it just starts with a basic idea or two and you work with that or those and see where things take you. Because right now you're in a dark place and you don't even know where you are and you're just getting that fix on some stupid fucking crappy drugs or alcohol or even a drink now and again. That's not doing anything for you. Sitting, talking with your workmates about fucking fuck this and fuck that about life and just dirty jokes and, and you're dressing flashy to look like you're part of the team, you know. You ain't worth a shit, man. Excuse me if you do that. You're really selling yourself, selling yourself out. You're buying and selling your ass like a prostitute. You've got to be honest. In a really bad way. Because the years pass and you're not going to get them back again. So use everything productively. And be productive so you can do it. Be positive so you can use anything in a positive way. You can't force things. And you don't need to change yourself or change others. You know what I'm saying? be a slave to them it's like you say you can't change the world but you can change yourself yeah but why do you change yourself just so you to follow and adapt to the world just so you become less you or you start saying well no this is me and this is what i want i've found my way and yeah you you do get influenced by different cultures and there's certain things you do connect with yeah and different groups of people society and civilization but what i'm trying i must will i mean but what i'm trying to say nobody's perfect but what i'm basically saying is that based on knowledge and experience we see what we're seeing here, what we're here. But basically what I'm trying to say is you've got to really question why you like things and what it is that things connect, what you actually connect to. And there's no should or should. I'm not telling you you should do this or need to or need and do that. I'm saying that there's always that information there. There's always more to be seen if you look further. And it's like if you do question certain things, you'll realise and understand and find certain things. Relax, man. Watch a movie or something, man or woman. Watch a movie tonight, or whatever, or if you've got a time, you know, whenever, just relax, lay down, get a good sleep, think about things a bit, and just start living positive, because you are no goddamn fucking slave to that toxic shit you're doing every day to yourself. Those negative thoughts, negative actions, following people, going to places you don't like, talk. you might be working in a job, but you can change and get a different job later on, you can go to different places, you don't have to follow those arseholes and talk to those people you don't like, you know what I mean? You don't need to do that, eat that shit every day, uh, 
you know what I mean? Spend that money or think about that money, those numbers, those faces, those people, that fashion, that way you dress, that waste money on this shit. Or just save money just so you can spend it to be part of that crowd. Oh, fuck arseholes. You know, fuck these people. In fact, respect yourself, you know what I mean? You don't need to do that. You don't need to drink. You don't need to take drugs. You don't need to uh, smoke and drink and dr take drugs. You don't need to do that. You don't need to join a, a group of losers. Or even if it's one friend of yours you follow. You don't need to... Someone says they respect you or they're your friend, your brother, your homie, your sister, your fucking brother, your, your mother, your teacher, anyone, your student or whoever. Anyone in society. A policeman who shits on you. Anyone. We're all human beings underneath it all. You don't need to follow them. We're all equal. And it's not even about thinking that even. It's just you are here. You exist on this earth. You know, if there was like a little lamb in a forest and a, a big lion was coming or some kind of little small animal, a squirrel, it would run away. It's not stupid. It would not run away, it would run away. but it's like it would logically just find a better way, you know, to be, find a better place for you. Find where you're at inside. Not fuck where you, uh, what you think you've been pushed into, all that shit. Think where you are, what you actually stand. What do I want now? I'm not. I don't want to waste the next few years. I don't want to waste the rest of my life. What do I want? And what do I want to do? Not for a purpose. Not to prove it to people and show them. Leave your legacy. Fuck that. I'm enjoying this day. And when I look back on my life, I will have forgot a lot of moments. But I will also remember the good and the bad. But I will remember a lot of good moments. And I have a lot of happy memories. Hopefully, if I take photos and videos, but I'm saying that that time will never come back. I'm in that moment right now. And tomorrow, another moment's going to come. How beautiful is that? If you're lucky enough, as we are, we are, if we are, and we're going to make use of that moment and enjoy it. Not be a goddamn robotic slave and follow these fucking things that you don't care about and people that don't care about you unless you conform to it in a certain way. It's goddamn weak. It's weakness. It's what it is. I don't care how big and tough someone's walking down the road. What the fuck, man? I'll fucking tell you, bro. No, no, because that's all acting, show. It don't matter if you can beat someone in a fight or you can't or you're carrying a big knife or Arnold Schwarzenegger's gun. Well, it doesn't matter what it is. Or if, you, or, if, or if you chop your whole body up so you're not recognizable as a man or a woman or a fucking human being for that matter. However you cover yourself with all kinds of face paint or clothes or whatever it is, disguises, masks. However you appear to be. Underneath it, you're either happy or you're not happy. And if you're not happy, you need to question yourself if you're not happy. If you haven't got a healthy mind, if you don't have peace of mind, you've got fucking nothing. And there's no way forward for you. All right, Dave. You know, really, at the end of the day, look up at the stars, man, in the sky. You've got the stars, the moon, the sun, the clouds in the sky. That's up there, that whole universe. You can't get it right on this planet, standing here where you are now. Come on, man. You, really, come off it. Be real. You know where you're standing. It doesn't matter about even, you might be in a certain country with a certain flag waving, but I'm just saying you're a human being on this star, this object in space, this planet. <coughs> and all you can think about is my priority of my position and, you know, and I need to be respected and valued, and I need to, my, my honour, you know, all this. Why? You're already a human being. If other people don't respect you, it's their own mental fucking problem. Because it's where does the anger come from? A baby doesn't a baby doesn't come out into the world angry. People say a baby does come kicking and screaming into the world. That's just a fucking philosophical term. It's not an actual thing. It's like it's just trying to get out, obviously, because pain is not good. Discomfort. It wants to be comfortable. It's there. Obviously, you know, it's coming into the world. And, you know, that's like chopping your head off and saying it's okay to feel pain. And no, it's ridiculous. You know. Pain is good, yeah, challenges are good, and all those hard things and mistakes we learn by, and we need to have the good and the bad, that's right. I'll fucking tell you that. You need to have imbalance, will make us learn balance, right? I know, but I'm saying to you, positivity, you're either alive or dead. I'm saying, the more light there is, the more clear is you'll be able to see. That's right, right, so... You need to see what there is, and it doesn't matter if there's light or there's dark, it matters what there is. So you might be in a dark room believing that there's food on a plate in front of you, but if there's nothing there, there's nothing there. And if you know certain things, that you're still alive, that you actually have food, clothes on you, a bed there, there's people starving in the world, but you know what it is, and every time you go home at night or you close the front door, 
and you don't see those arsehole negative people that you don't want to be around anymore. You're at home, you can relax. It's your chance to contemplate things and think, you know, forget that shit. I, I don't need to connect with any crap. I don't need to worry about whatever's going on. I need to get myself right. You've got a little bit of money there, why waste it on some shit? You've got a bit of time there, why waste it on some shit, you know what I mean? And people don't understand you, so why talk some shit trying to fucking buy them or what? Sell yourself like a prostitute, they give a fuck. They don't give a fuck, you're like a busted chair to them, they'll break you and then get another one. You know what I mean? You're like a, some old... Like that old phone you don't want anymore, that old technology. It's just like that. It's like it's calling out to be used. You just don't want to use it. They, 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 they don't want to use you anymore. They'll use you until you don't work anymore. They break your back. They'll use your whole your whole life until you're old or whatever age. Until one day you're no use to those people anymore. You're or you're gone for whatever reason, and they won't give a fuck. Think about the people that have come and gone out in your life. Where are they now? Or well, the people that have actually died through silly for whatever has happened. Life just goes on. Life goes on. The world keeps turning. We're still going through our lives, right? So you don't need to think about things too much. Love and respect your fellow neighbour. Respect all people. Everybody's getting their own way. They're learning at different paces, learning different things. You can learn different things. You're there. You can do good things. I'm not a religious person. I'm not the most clean mouth person either. But I'm not on a show and I'm not doing this for likes. I ain't got any many viewers on my channel anyway and subscribers. But I'm not even ranting or moaning. I'm actually, I'm telling you what it's... See, when people say things, they think it's a speech. When people start speaking, you think they're trying to advertise. I'm not doing that. I'm doing this for no reason here. I'm busy here. This is insanity even talking, but the only reason it's not insanity that I'm rambling about this is because not a lot of people else are doing it without an agenda. I'm not a lot of people are doing this without doing it for some kind of reason, to get you onto their bandwagon. What kind of fucking bandwagon am I looking here, half asleep here, like sitting here talking to you this shit? I'm saying that life's amazing. You can do great things. I love being creative and, and I value and I respect people out there that do live a peaceful, simple life doing their own thing. If you're watching this video, they're that kind of person and you understand what I'm saying. You might not be perfect, but you know what I mean? If you're trying to do the right thing, trying to keep it healthy, but you're just trying to be creative, maybe do some art or whatever. You, like I like to do some art. I'm not the best artist, but you know, things like that. Do some exercise when you can and spread a good message to people around you or your family. I respect that kind of person. And you will be the more happy and more successful people with more of a potential to do things. With an open mind, you'll have more paths that may be available to you and doorways to other things too. Providing you're willing to take steps and reach out um, and look out there in the world and try and see what's out there in terms of nature. But also see what opportunities there might be for you to put those skills and those abilities into work that you've been practicing and focusing on your powers and abilities as opposed to just moaning about the shit in the world and just letting it beat you up. Like a lot of these, um, I don't know, tough people or, or people that want to feel sorry for themselves. All I see is, you know, there's weakness in the darkness. You know what I mean, that's all it is, is weakness in negativity. You know? If you're a positive person or if you're really fucked off with life and you want to be a positive person or you want to be a fucking rich person, then stop spending all the goddamn time. You've got to stop spending before you start moaning about what you want to save or what you want to earn. Whether it's money, time, happiness, peace, you sold, you bought all them fancy clothes, look at what you've got hanging up there in the mirror, geoed up, whatever kind of style you're dressing up. What's all that about? A lot of money could have been fucking saved there for a few sandwiches or something in a fucking week. Let's be real, man. In a fucking week, you bought them new fucking jeans or that fancy suit because you want to look like what? Because you've got to go to the latest. Yeah, man, my friend's having a stag party. Oh, yeah, so-and-so just got married. Now they're going to go walking in, in, uh, in half naked on the street or in, in, the, in the bar tonight fucking a fucking microphone. And that's the message you're going to be fucking putting out to the world. What are you talking about? Standing there all day protesting about something. Standing there all day moaning about, uh, you know, you know what I mean? Something that just, you could be doing something more practical, you know. Write your wrongs. And the, and the wrongs you can't write, at least learn from them. Or, and if you can't change the past, fair enough, you can't. But always look to now to do something else that could be productive. That's what I, how I see it. I want to say thank you for watching. It's a long one, okay? An hour and a half, just under. Thanks for watching, okay? Train hard and stay safe. Very um.
very, uh, I'm very uh, grateful that you'd watch this, if anyone did watch it in full. Thanks a lot. Train hard and stay safe, as I say. More martial arts to come from me and animation and stuff to come from me soon. Okay.